Hello everyone, welcome back to Little Sparkle Life. Today, let's create a reversible piano cover that will protect your keyboard from dust and pet hair for years to come so that you can continue to enjoy making music and add a little decor to your space. So come follow along for 10 easy steps to create this cover. Measure your keyboard. You want to make sure you measure the full width, the height of the shortest end, the height of the tallest end, the length of the keyboard, as well as the front to back length. Step two, create a pattern. panel is actually to size but I did make a scale model so that you could see the measurements and how all the pieces fit together. I'll use a scale model that is six times smaller than what you'll be making. In the center, I've added a fold line. If you wanted to fold your fabric in half, place the pattern with the folded edge of your fabric to the folded edge of the pattern and cut it out that way. Otherwise, you can just open the whole pattern up and cut it out on a single layer flat on your fabric. When you cut out your side panel, make sure that you have the correct side of your fabric on both a left and a right side. Step four, pin your fabric in place. When pinning your side panel in place, make sure you're pinning along the curved edge and not the straight edge. Step five, sew the straight edge of your side panel. Step six, pin and sew your corners. The trick I use when sewing corners is to first sew your straight edge and stop about an inch before you get to the corner. Next, fold your side panel over so that you're creating a triangle and then take your larger fabric and fold it straight down right to the tip of that triangle corner. What this will do is to ensure that you have an equal distance on both sides of your corner so that you're not sewing your corner crooked on your fabric. Be careful not to pin through all four layers of your fabric. What you wanna do is peel back just the two layers that need to be sewn together and carefully pin in place without letting your fabric slip or slide around from where you have it folded. And now you have nice rounded corners. Now, if you wanted to make a single-sided piano cover, you could just finish off by hemming the rest of your raw edges and you would be done. But if you wanna go on to make it reversible, then follow along with the next steps. Now it's time to repeat steps one through six in your other fabric. Step 
Step seven, check the fit of what you've sewn so far. So I've laid the first layer down and then put the second layer on top just to make sure that both pieces will fit of the piano and that one is not too tight. Step eight, trim your edges and reinforce your stitch with a zigzag. I'm using pinking shears to help prevent my fabric from fraying, but you can use regular scissors. Any trick to keep your corners laying flat is to put three small snips in the corner outside of where you've sewn. Now that we've checked the fit on the piano and we've cut off all the extra fabric, I'm going to reinforce by using a zigzag stitch on the outside of my basting stitch. And this will just help to reinforce and make sure that our seams don't pull apart with wear and tear over the years. I'm using my left hand here to help hold the extra fabric out of the way so I don't accidentally stitch over it. And those snips we made in the corner are going to help this corner stitch so much easier and smoother and lay flat once we turn it right side out. Step nine, pin and sew right sides together. I've placed both of my pieces of fabric on the piano. One is right side up and one is right side down so that right sides are together. And I'm using a straight stitch to quickly put my pieces of fabric together and for one final check on the piano in case I need to make any last minute adjustments. Step 10, final fit check and reinforce those seams all the way around with a zigzag. Making sure to leave at least 12 inches open at the bottom so that you can flip your project right side out. And to finish off the edge, just tuck both pieces under and hand stitch where that opening was. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video inspires you to get out there and craft or use your piano more often or just do those things that you love to do. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really inspires me to make more content and to be creative myself. So thank you so much. Until next time.